talk about some of the biggest names in the sport. First up is going to be Mr. Perfect himself, Mike Schlusser. And trailing Mike, Jimmy Lutz. Two fun guys. We watched Jimmy today shoot during the Vegas round, and it was quite awesome on Archery TV. And he came up to me, I said, man, you look good today. And he says, uh, I don't know that I look good. The first part, I drank a Red Bull and was definitely shaking like a crazy person. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I could never, ever do that, like coffee or Red Bull he's like, before I shoot. He said, I said it didn't show up on the TV, but he's like, well, man, I was shaking at first. <laughs> So on target number two will be Jimmy Lutz from Wisconsin in the United States of America. He's officially known as James, 25 years old. And uh, for Jimmy Lutz, he is on the verge, as far as we know, of being a father. Yeah. His wife, Danelle, of course. Yeah. It's been said that Danelle said to him, of course, who is a world-ranked archer herself, has said, if you continue off being perfect, I'm not going to call you if I'm going into labor. You stay in Vegas and you shoot. If you miss one and I go into labor, you're coming home. Yeah. So, so far, Jimmy's been perfect. But this is a rematch, Rio, of what we've seen before in the Indoor World Series between these two. Let's, of course, your number five-ranked archer in the world. This guy right here, your number one ranked archer in men's compound in the world. Oh, come on. Come on. The crowd didn't even applaud. They just groaned and like, are you kidding me? Inside out straight away? Yep. No problem for Jimmy. That's that's a pretty good start to walk <laughs> at. I mean, I it just can't. You can't do better. And he continues it. That's the part with Mikey. He can do some things that I've never seen done before. Yep. And Jimmy and just matches he, it. He I sure mean, this, does. this is something these two met at Neems, and uh, they're not no strangers to each other, so this could be an awesome ex display. Ooh. Dropped a little bit. See if Jimmy can capitalize yep. on it, no problem. And inside out again. Yeah. And, no, talk, and, and talking to Mike, I asked him about his setup because he shoots 27s. Yeah. 27 diameter arrows. He's got to switch to 23s. And I asked him about his setup, and he said he has everything set up. All he has to do, Rio, is actually just adjust his sight a couple of clicks. Doesn't need to adjust his rest or anything. And I said, well, how many clicks? And he looked at me, and he said, you think too much. I'll figure out how many <laughs> clicks, Greg, when, when I get to the range and yeah. I shoot a couple. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. So you didn't pre-do anything. He's yeah. like, no, I didn't. And he just smiled at me. All right. I've known Mikey for a long time, and we do laugh at you because you do think too much. Mm -hmm. Just look at just the last arrow from him where he dropped a little low. And you could tell by his lift up in his barm, and he knew it right from the second it left the bow. He was like, oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mike's down 29-30. Cumulative scoring. And in the men's matches, this could be the match, that one point. The target sits 18 meters, just about 20 yards downrange. The archers are shooting at a 10 ring. That's the size of a U.S. penny. Yeah. It is small. Yep. Ten. Ooh. I think Jimmy thinks, yeah, he got away with that one. Yeah, but I think it's still there. It's a solid arrow. Mm -hmm. Ten. Mikey's shot looks really good. Really good. He wasn't sure. He's like, where did that one hit? And the, the hard part down here is the archers don't have anything to see unless it goes yep. up on the big screen. Yep. So they got to rely on their coaches a lot. And Jimmy's doing great. I mean. And, he, and Jimmy's rhythm, too, right now. Like, he shoots fast when yeah. he's, when he's aiming well. Yep. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. 30 for Schlusser. 
comes Jimmy. He's going to get that thumb and let it go, and he misses. Oh. Just high left. We're going to wait for the official score because that's what it looks like for us. That's what it looks like for Jimmy. Yeah. That's what it looks like for his coach in the coach's box. You never know. Like, I've seen arrows that I'm like, ah, I thought we were in, and they turned out to be out. So we got to wait for the officials. But it does now turn this into a three end match, if that's the case. So, so far to recap on end number one, we had 10 10 9 for Mike Schluss for 29. Jimmy Lutz goes 10 10 10. As we wait for the official word, it's 10 10 10 30 for Schlusser and 10 10 9. And here's a look at Lutz. And he knew it as soon as he shot it. Now watch that thumb come around. This is his normal shot process, and he just sends it. And of course, what they're looking at, there's a, like a big screen jumbotron that's just above their heads. And so, I mean, just above their heads. The fact they have a little bit of an angle to see a close up of that target. Back to live pictures with Mike Schlusser. Okay, solid one from him. Now to Lutz. Boom, gone. Inside out. Mike, he's got a little movement there. I mean, he's still solid in the 10, but you can see he's really working it. I mean, you can see the, whew, it's a lot of tough work to do. Yep. And, and Jimmy wasn't sure about that one either. So like I said, when you get nervous like that, you shake and you move, and it's just really hard to, to be dead center. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. He knew that one. And that one got sent. He knew it was good for Lutz. Tom comes around. Ooh, ooh. Yep. Ten, ten, ten. That was a good recovery from Jimmy, right? Because normally he's going to get that thumb straight to the barrel, and he had a little bit of a hesitation, and it really paid off for him. Yeah. That that's one little movement there, that one little bit of discipline from, yep. from Jimmy's thumb saved him a point. Watch it, Rio, right there. Yeah. It was subtle, but it was there. Yeah, and it's... There's a huge mental part to be able to handle that and not melt down and let it get to you. And so to keep this down to this, I mean, he's doing an amazing job with that. Five arrows, three ends apiece, total amount of arrow shot, cumulative scoring is 15, so the maximum point value is 150. New targets are being hung right now. Why would the judge determine that we need to hang new targets for this match? Well, you've got a few arrows down there in them and they're starting to wear out the edges of the lines and the biggest thing you want to be is have them in good enough shape to make good calls you'd hate to have an archer be robbed of an arrow because of something in the lack of of not changing the face and keeping it up square so the guys can really have that really crisp clean scoring area for the judges to make the calls I think for guys like us watching this match, it's exciting to watch, but also because we know both of these shooters and they're such good guys that it's going to be a heartbreak for one of them. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, they they matched earlier and had a really good match in Nimes, which is one of the big indoor events itself. And so this will be something really cool to watch. Ten. Matching that 10 line. As long as you contact that 10 line anywhere in that ring, you get the higher point value. Oh, solid, solid. And Jimmy looked good on his last one, so this should be another solid one. It's really making this match go down to just the last few arrows. It's a great, great shooting by both of them. 10, 10, 10, perfect score. So a 30 for Mike Schlusser. 
And we're going to keep an eye on his thumb as well. And another 10, 10, 10. And this is the match we expected to see right from the beginning. So I'm going to give you a quick recap as we head off into this final three arrows. Mike Schlesser came off 10, 10, 9 for a 29. Jimmy Lutz shot perfect 10, 10, 10. And the very next end, as Lutz sends it, as casual as you like it, with a very strong bow arm, he knows what's up. The second end, it was perfect 30 for Mike and a 29 for Lutz. That tied us up. And now we've been 30 for the last two. As Gabby Schlusser, that's a, an Olympic medalist herself on the recurve side of things, giving her hubby a little bit of encouragement. Here we go. We're down to three arrows. This should go, should be very exciting. We'll be able to see the nerves with these great shots we're getting here at the Indoor World Series Finals in Las Vegas, Nevada. This for the gold medal. Very rhythmic for Mike Schlusser. And his thumb to get onto his button tells the story of how he's feeling. Jimmy punches it just like he always does. Confident shot gets it there. Although he does make just a minor adjustment to his sight up and down. Oh, oh. Now the question is here's the little bit is can Jimmy match or does that give him nerves and he struggles with it? That's what happens yeah. sometimes. No nope. problem. Smokes it. So that one from Schlusser looked a bit high in the nine ring. And the 10. So now it's all on Jimmy Lutz. If he can put it in the 10 ring and he's going to send this thing quickly. Watch that thumb come around. This for the gold medal. Yeah. And he gets it. A perfect 30 for Jimmy Lutz. We're going to wait for that arrow call for Mike Schlusser, that top arrow. And Mikey thinks it's a nine. I, I look like a nine to me. Looks like a nine to me, but we're not the judges. Nope. That's above my pay grade. But as Jimmy is an athlete, you always wait till you get the final confirmation. And there's judges down there, and they're going to look at all the arrows. And then we're going to get an indication from the judge, a hand motion to tell us if there is a winner or not. It's a 10. He gives the signal up. And it is official, yeah. the winner of the gold medal and the Indoor World Series final champ is Jimmy Lutz from the United States of America with a 149-148 victory. What a weekend Jimmy Lutz is having. Thank you. Solid in the Vegas round, and now to get this, this can always be like a cherry on top. Only dropped one point in the final for Jimmy Lutz. And for Jimmy, a victory and more diaper money. Yeah, maybe he's got a new pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah.